on a horizontal plane on a vertical tower stands on a horizontal plane on the vertical tower there is a flagstaff there is a flagstaff on a vertical tower so the angle of elevation of bottom and the top of the flag is making angle of alpha and beta we need to find out the height of the flag is h tan alpha by tan beta minus tan alpha let us repeat there is a vertical tower on a vertical tower a flag staff the fixed the flag staff the bottom and the top of the flag staff is making an angles the angle of elevations from a point are making uh, making the angles alpha and beta respectively we need to find out the height of the tower is h tan alpha by tan beta minus tan alpha so let us take horizontal plane on a horizontal plane there is a flag staff sorry on a horizontal plane there is a vertical tower on it so this is a vertical tower on a vertical tower a flag staff what is the flag staff the angle of elevation of bottom and top bottom and the top of the flag staff are making an angles alpha and beta first bottom is alpha and top is beta the angle of elevation of bottom and top top are making an angles alpha and beta then we need to find out the height of the flag staff is h tan alpha by tan beta minus tan alpha so here let us take the names a b c and o here we have taken some of the names that is a b c this point bottom of the flag staff is b and top of the flag staff is c and uh, the bottom of tower is a and the point which has taken it as o here the bottom of the flag staff is alpha and uh, the height the top of the flag staff is beta now we can observe that from triangle aoc from triangle aoc it is a right angle triangle which makes 90 degrees with the ground so from triangle abc we can take that tan theta is equals to opposite side by adjacent side aoc in that opposite side is nothing but ac divided by adjacent side is oa we know that here angle is made by theta is beta so tan beta is equals to and let us take some of the names here that is we need to find out the height of the flag staff so let us find out this is h let us take the height of the flag staff is h and uh, the height of the tower is x height of the tower we have taken as x is from here to here height of the tower is taken as x and height of the flag staff is taken as h so in this we can observe that ao and uh, the distance uh, between these two points we doesn't know let us take any other name of it okay so tan beta tan beta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side that is opposite side is nothing but ac in the place of ac we have there are two points that is x there are two distances tower height of the tower and height of the flag star that is x plus h so ac is equal to x plus h we we don't know the distance between these two points oe let us take as oe let us take 
OA as small a or any one of the points. So we can take, right? We can find out easily so that we take it as small a. So tan beta, and here we can observe that tan beta is equal to x plus h by a. So when we take this, the left hand side a into tan beta is equal to x plus h. And then here, to find out the value of x, a tan beta minus h is equal to x. So here, we can see that there is a value before that. So let us take this tan beta as let us write this tan beta as 1 by cot beta. Zero. We know that tan beta is equal to 1 by cot theta. So here it becomes a by cot beta is equal to x plus h. The value of x is equal to, let us find out the value of x that is equal to a by a by cot beta is, is equal to x plus h and the value of x is equal to a by cot beta minus h is equal to x. Now here let us take the LCM for this that is a cot beta will be LCM for this and then uh, when we multiply this when we check the LCM of this we will get a minus h cot beta is equal to x. We got the value of x is equal to a minus h cot beta by cot theta. So, we know that we need, sorry, let us take the another triangle which is ABO that is nothing but AOB. Let us take triangle AOB, the triangle OAC. There are two triangles in this that is triangle AOB and triangle AOC. Let us take, now let us take triangle AOB from triangle AOB from triangle AOB tan theta is equal to opposite side by this inside. We know that this triangle AOB AOB, this is the triangle AOB from this triangle AOB tan theta is equal to opposite side by this inside that is AB by AOB a B by A O. So tan theta, theta is in math making an angle with it with this A B O is alpha. So alpha is making an angle in the triangle A O B. This is the thing alpha. So tan alpha is equals to A B. We know that the value of height of the tower A B that is X by A O we have taken as A. So tan alpha is equals to tan alpha is equal to x by a. So when we trans then we find out the value of x. So a tan alpha is equal to x. And let us find out the value of a. a is equal to x by tan alpha. And when we, we know that 1 by tan alpha is equal to cot alpha. So a is equal to x into cot alpha. So this is the first one. So we call one of the value that is a is equals to x into cot alpha. This is the first one. First equation. Let us from the triangle A O B, from triangle A O B we got first equation that is a is equals to x into cot alpha. Let us take another triangle. That is triangle A O C. From triangle A O C. A O C tan theta is equal to opposite side by this end side that is A C by A O A C by A O tan theta theta is making an angle is beta total angle with the triangle A O C A O C full angle and this is A O C means that is beta so tan beta is equal to opposite side A C is we know that A C is nothing but A B plus B C that is x and plus h. So x plus h by a o 
AMO, we know that the value of AMO is small a. So we got a. Now let us find out the value of a here. So, so the value of a, when we transpose these two values, then a is equal to, I express h by tan beta. So to find out the value of a, a is equal to, and 1 by tan alpha, we know that 1 by tan beta a is equal to, x plus h by tan beta is equal to, x plus h into tan beta. Sorry, when we take this value, x plus h, and 1 by tan beta is nothing but cot beta. So, let us take this equation as 2. a is equal to, second equation we got, x plus h into cot beta. That is the second equation. We got in the second equation that is nothing but a is equal to x plus h into cot beta. It is the second equation. Here, 1 by tan beta is cot beta. So, there is a common of triangle in the there is a common side in triangle AOB and triangle AOC that is AO. AO is the common side for both the triangles. So, A is a common side for both the triangles. So, we can equate these two triangles because of left hand side there is a A. So, equation 1 is equal to 2. Equation 1 is equal to 2. Then we get here there is an equation 1 that is x is equal to cot alpha and equals to x plus h into cot beta. So, so here x into let us write again equation 1 is equal to 2. Let us write equation 1 is equal to 2 here. Equation 1 is x into cot alpha is equals to x plus h into cot beta. So x into cot alpha that is multiply with this cot x into cot beta and h into cot beta plus h into cot beta. That is let us see again x into cot alpha plus h into cot beta, x into cot alpha, h into cot beta. Now we know that here, we can see that here, there is x value and here there is x value. Let us transpose this value to left hand side, then x into, and we transpose this value, x into cot alpha minus x into cot beta is equal to h into cot beta. Here we can say that, here we can see that there is an x value in both the terms. So there is x common here and here. So let us take x common. So when we are taking x common here, we will be getting cot alpha minus cot beta. Cot alpha minus cot beta is equal to h into cot beta. So here, we need to find out the height of the tower, that is nothing but h, h we need to find out. So let us transpose this cot beta to left hand side. So x into cot alpha minus cot beta divided by cot beta is equal to h. It is here, finally we got here, we got here the value of h is equal to height of the flag staff is equal to x into cot alpha minus cot beta by cot beta. But we need to find out the height of, we need to prove that height of the tower is h tan alpha by tan beta minus tan alpha. It is in terms of beta and but this, the, we need to prove in terms of tan alpha and tan beta. So let us simplify this equation. We need to find out the height of the tower. Height of the tower is nothing but x value so we need to find out the value of x so the x must must be the subject of the formula so let us transpose this x value to left hand side then we will be getting here h tan alpha is equals to x into tan beta minus tan alpha and to find out the value of x here let us transpose this 
left hand side than beta minus tan alpha to this side we will be getting h tan alpha by tan beta minus tan alpha is equals to x. So the value of x is nothing but height of the tower. We need to find out the height of the tower as h tan alpha by tan beta minus tan alpha that we got here x value as h tan alpha by tan beta minus tan alpha.